There have been many influential psychological studies and experiments throughout the years, but two stand out as the most famous and controversial in the field. The first of which is Stanley Milgram's obedience experiment. Subjects were told they were in a teaching experiment, and one half was to shock the other half with increasing voltage every time the other group gave an incorrect answer. It's a shock. This other group was actually part of the experiment team and had pre-recorded screams to be played during their shocking. Basically, Milgram wanted to see how many subjects would follow his authority and give those final deadly shocks. His colleagues and other psychiatrists thought that no more than 4% would, but the results were... unsettling. Because 65% of the participants did give that final shock. Now, before we lose what little faith we may still have in humanity, it's important to note that the subjects were all very upset while they were shocking the student. In fact, every single one expressed the desire to stop at some point. It's absolutely essential that you continue. Yeah, I can do it though. Now, this experiment was rather controversial because it had the subjects believe they could have killed someone, which tends to leave a mark. But before the subjects left, Milgram did explain to them fully what the experiment was supposed to do. And years later, in a survey with the original participants, 84% said they were glad or very glad to have participated. But perhaps even more unsettling than the obedience experiment is the Stanford Prison Experiment, led by Dr. Philip Zimbardo. Zimbardo was actually a student of Milgram's, and I kid you not, after he published the prison experiment, Milgram called him up and said, Gee, I sure am glad you published this controversial study. It's taken a lot of the heat off of me. So this study was interesting. Zimbardo wanted to see whether people would conform to social roles once they were put in a specific environment. 24 people became either a prisoner or a prison guard in a constructed prison, and Zimbardo wanted to see if the guards would become cruel and prisoners, well, like prisoners. Prisoner subjects even went through realistic arrests and were given numbers instead of names to dehumanize them and make the experience as close as possible to real life. The first day in the prison went without conflict, but then it all changed. Prisoners started barricading their doors and rebelling, and guards punished prisoners with physical work, solitary confinement, and psychological abuse. In only a few days, of these 24 normal college guys, guards became sadistic and prisoners psychologically depressed and stressed. Some prisoners dropped out early with legitimate anxiety, and the experiment ultimately ended after six days, not even half the planned length of the experiment. In fact, Zimbardo later said, I couldn't sleep at night thinking of what the guards might do to the prisoners. So, I don't think there's a question of how this could have raised some ethical flags. Frankly, Milgram's obedience experiment and the Stanford Prison Experiment are kind of terrifying, because they show normal people, like you and me, shocking and abusing others. Now, each experiment has its own set of criticisms and questions of authenticity, but we can't deny that they both showed ordinary people acting in extraordinary ways. Thanks for watching. Each week I'll be putting out videos talking about psychology experiments and theories, so talk about what you want to see in the comments and subscribe if you like this. Thanks.